What's up everyone? <laughs> so it's really, really beautiful outside today and I'm really happy because it's not like this, especially in the winter. And we're walking around and it's great. <laughs> so, hey. So awkward. My partner in crime right now because it's really, really nice outside. Right now. Right now. All the time, what are you talking about? You're not wrong. It's so nice outside right now, and people are gonna look at me like I'm weird just because I'm holding a phone in my face. Oh, that's so cute. I didn't know they had that. It's like a little, a little like, I don't know if you saw that, but it was like a little like playset thing where it's like a little clock. It looks, oh, it's probably Duck Duck Goose. That's probably what it is. <laughs> What? Um, big comfy couch. Big com what, when you saw that? Yeah, remember that show? Have you ever watched that show? I've watched it, but I don't, that wasn't my childhood. Oh my God. That was not my childhood. Oh, my childhood. oh they closed the gate. The clown. All right, so we were gonna walk to the river here, but they closed the gate, so now I don't, so now we're just gonna walk through the town. Because. I was saying, no, we can still do it. We just have to, we'll get left of the river. Okay, cool. Well, I told Leah that I feel like I look like a 90s like music video person. She's like, no, you don't. And I was like, I only feel like it because of my shoes. Because my shoes are bright and they're white because <laughs> they're brand new. But I feel like, you know, the 90s one where they're like, that's what I feel like right now. That's all I feel like right now. <laughs> don't ruin my dreams. Don't. <laughs> I don't ruin any of your dreams. But this one is. Yes, she does. Okay, so I'm back and we're <laughs> by. Ooh. Oh it's my so... god. I don't even. You can't even see it now. Oh, it's falling away. Oh, that car. I was looking at a different car in front of it. That's a beautiful car. I honestly want that car. Oh my gosh. I still want to say my dream car is a Mustang 1966. Candy red apple. That's what I want. And this is the river, by the way. It's so nice out here. It's so nice. I just, I freaking love the warm weather and I hate it when it's freezing outside. Like she's so much far ahead of me. I just want to live in a place where it's always warm because it's so cold here sometimes and well not anymore because global warming you know Ooh. i feel like one of, like one of those movies where like a breakup happens and they're just walking along the river yeah they're just, just like thinking about it and you know and they cut to the scene where like they your significant other shows up and at the very end there they are and they're ready they're to together, yeah. they're ready to hug you and kiss yeah. you except i don't see them so have, oh there's a seagull i have no significant other no. Yeah, I don't think he had the same feelings as me because I was ready for him to be the one. <laughs> he just played my emotions. He just took the confidence and then he ran away with it. You know, and I love when you walk by the river. Anywhere you walk by the river, there's always like an older couple that's walking with their significant other and I'm just like <laughs> maybe one day it's such a nice day outside I'm so happy it's so nice my eyes are probably like I was hoping they were gonna be blue but I can't really tell so maybe they are and I just can't see them I feel so out of breath because I ran to her I'm starting to feel it like right now I know it was like I know you're she's not even walking that fast but like I had to run up to her and it was it was kind of over oh they have this little like oh, hold on how to catch up again because I have little legs I should probably do all of those especially this one actually I, I'm not gonna do that one because I do not want to get on my hands off that little nasty looking thing but <laughs> do the squats, squats. 
Oh, she's running away again. I gotta catch up. <laughs> this is all the exercise I'll ever have because. <laughs> well, no, this is all the exercise I'm getting for today because probably tomorrow I'll go to the gym because I've been really slacking. Like, really, really slacking. You came with me to Halloween, right? Yeah. So, I was thinking that over there was that place, that, that jungle gym that we did. <laughs> Remember we like rolled down that huge hill? Yeah, that was you and Amber. That was actually really fun. I remember I lost something on that hill, but like, you know, you can't see the hill because it was so dark. It was the middle of Halloween because we took my little cousins, my little nieces out. It was pitch black. It was pitch black. And me and my other niece, who's a year younger than me, decided, we were like, let's go roll down the hill. So we went and rolled down this huge hill. This hill was so scary, but like the way it rolled, like there was a fence obviously, but it rolled right into the river. And me and her just decided to like go all the way down. And then she lost a hoop earring. And I think I lost this, but I have like four of them or something. I think I lost that, I don't remember. Cause I don't really keep trying. Is that not me? I know I dropped my wallet, but I ended up finding that. And I also dropped my phone, but obviously I have that now, so. You know, I cannot wait for all the trees to blossom and bloom and look really, really pretty again, you know? Like super, super pretty again. I love the flowers. I'm just a flower child. And she can vouch for that. Yeah. You're definitely born in the wrong time. <laughs> I definitely should have been born in the 50s. I would have had the cute skirts. I mean, I cut off all my hair, but I would have had the long hair. Because I probably wouldn't have cut it off back in that era. Probably would have kept it long. But. <sighs> oh, so I'm going to tell you about my dream that I had last night. Because I told Leah already, and she was like, uh, okay. <laughs> So last night I had a dream that I was Supergirl because I like saving people and I want to save the world. <laughs> uh, so last night I was stereotypical thing. for some. Okay. I love okay. Supergirl because I love saving people. I do like helping people. I love saving the world, but I want the world to be in a better place. That's not wrong. That's a it very sounds so stereotypical. Yeah, but that's very valid in my head. <laughs> but anyway. You know so if you guys have ever watched the show Supergirl, you know how the corporation that she works for is the DEO. Okay. So, oh, we're gonna watch Leia do this one. Go ahead. Yes! We have Spider-Man! Oh, I wanna sit up there. Hold on. I was doing. Can you, can you, can you grab this? Because there's no way. You know how her family, not her family, her her step, her sister and her, basically her family works for the DEO. So I had a dream that my family worked for the DEO and I have a pretty big family. And also like some of the people that I graduated with, I don't know why, my family worked for the DEO and uh, this lady had sent me this video about like she's on my doorstep and like she was like playing a game with me. It was the girl in the show that had bad luck and stuff and like switch the bad luck around. So she put like this quarter on my doorstep and she was like, oh, there's a quarter on your doorstep, are you gonna get it? And I was like, just leave it there. And then all of a sudden she's like, no, I don't think I will. So she takes off her hand, which I guess her hand was like a different appendage or something. And she threw it on top of the quarter and the quarter blew up and it opened up the door. It opened up like the front door of my house and then she went in my house and like took an artifact and I was telling everybody this artifact and I told my family and then all of them were like, all right, we're getting ready. And they all pulled out like all different types of weapons. Like every single weapon went with who they were. Like my cousin had a grenade launcher. My other cousin had a rifle, but the, excuse me. But then I lived with two people. I lived with my old friend, Veronica, and I lived with Leah, but Leah was like Alex or something. So then I pick her up and then we go to our apartment or our house 
I like that song. <laughs> it's your birthday. Open wide. Are you Thursday? Oh, Bye. -bye. So we end up going to the apartment and then it cuts like a, a TV show and it didn't even show the apartment and then it was like, she took the artifact, blah, 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 blah. But my friend was like so excited that she got to ride with me because you know, I was super girl. So I literally picked them up and we went and it was really cool. That was really long storytelling, but usually my dreams are like this. So maybe you'll hear more about my dreams because they're pretty ridiculous every time. actually been like staring and there's all these seagulls chilling over here like it's probably really cold at the shore maybe that's why they're chilling there but 